Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Building a Computer in Minecraft. In the last episode, we talked about the logic unit, which is very important for our computer, because it will allow us to do more than just add numbers together, it will allow us to do other things with the numbers. In fact, today, we're going to be showing you what comes after the logic unit. What do we do once we have all these options for all of these numbers, and how do we choose what outputs to use. So without further ado, let's get started. Now today we have a lot to talk about because I had to create a system of what we're actually doing. So um, let's go ahead and demonstrate. Uh, this is individual gates. Each individual gate is blue, light blue. It's the same color as which adder because they're basically, I, I messed it up. This was gonna be a different color. It was gonna be dark gray, but I messed that up. Which half of the gates are we using? Are we using the bottom or the, or the top half? And the gates are the same, so... Yeah, so individual gates like and or or and then which half of the gates are we using? And then, in this case, which adder? Or which, which, you know, like top or bottom adder, you know? Uh, which operation? So that would be... Well, whether we're adding or using the logic unit. And then, you know, I did think about this one, but we don't actually need that. We just need a control unit, but that will be later on. So now this chart may look a little confusing, but this is each multiplexer. There's a number of each multiplexer. So we have one that does both units. It decides which unit we're using, logic or numbers or adding or whatever. Then we have brown, which is, uh, I believe that is um, for like, I don't know, I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, uh, so, but black is which half of these we have three of those and then brown we have two two brown Which is uh, just to get the number down even lower so I can decide which operation we're doing and then we have um Five blue because we had a ton of gates to choose from at the beginning so now here is the multiplexer and uh, Anything that's light blue anything past this light blue color is part of the multiplexer So this black stuff is multiplexer brown multiplexer uh, Gray's multiplexer. Now this one, as I said before, this one chooses between logic and math. So in this case, that is currently running logic. But if we switch this, it's running math. Uh, but if, if we switch this one, we can switch which adder we're using for our math, which uh, does all that, and switches it over. And we can switch again. Boom, look at this. It's uh, changed the outputs. But when we do this again, it will flip it back to normal. Boom, and now these repeaters can't fire these uh, redstone pieces, even though there's two of them on. Uh, it would only be this this bottom, this one on. So, boom. And these brown ones, they are a little more, um... These are choosing between which type of logic gates we're using. Are we using AND or NAND or... Well, actually, are we using the NAND slash AND? Or are we using the OR? Or are we using the XOR slash XNOR? Of top or bottom? Well, actually, no. Black is the top or the bottom. So we'll start at the base level of this or that one. So we'll, we'll go ahead and choose uh, XOR, I believe. And then we'll also, for this one, we'll set it to... I think it's running NAND right now. So if we switch it from NAND to AND, that's pretty interesting. Now if we switch to the next one from... What is this one running? Is this one running, uh, this one's running also AND or NAND, so we'll switch this one on. So AND or NAND is on for the bottom. And then we also have, this one is, I believe is uh, XOR or XNOR. So we'll, we'll switch this one off. Just invert all of them. So yeah, um, it's, it's a little bit, uh, <laughs> it's pretty simple once you, once you, once you do it. But basically we're able to switch which ones are on and which ones are off. So this is a, a very useful thing. So now, are we gonna do top and and nand or bottom and and nand? So we'll go for top and, which ended up with this result. Or no, it ended up with none of them being on. But if we switch it to the bottom and, I'm sure one of them will turn on. As you can see, bottom and one of them is on. So now we can switch between. Is this? Oh, this one is between um. Top or or bottom or is this or is this uh oh yeah it's top or or bottom or this one was also pretty simple to make but then the the more complicated one to wire was this one the 
XOR or XNOR, and I had to figure out how I was going to wire them so they wouldn't collide with each other. Which, uh, I got a little convoluted, but, uh, at the end, it, it didn't really matter. So I had some ideas after this. I had an idea to add another mathematic unit that would go from, and would take from the multiplexer, but I realized I wouldn't have enough stuff coming out of the multiplexer. So that was not going to work. And then I decided that I should add two or three register units, but I chose not to do that. Instead, I haven't even added register units yet. I can't even figure out how to make those yet. So we're, we're very far away from uh, that. But I did decide that I was going to do three instead of two. And the reason why is because I want one that I can input uh, information into. Or that will be our input for over there, which I'm already working on. And I'll have one that will be the output register, which will be after the fact and store the data from there. And then we'll have a functional register, which will store all the functions that we can multiplex. So the idea is that this register will allow me to choose what operation and have that operation stored. Now, it is kind of useless. You could just get away with having two or maybe even just one. You probably only need one, honestly, but yeah. So what have we completed so far? We've completed the arithmetic logic unit. We haven't completed the memory. And we have not completed the control. We also may complete the subscribe button. So I have actually learned a few things on how we can subtract numbers and all that stuff. Which is what led me to make these. Which are basically working the same way as the multiplexers work by... Let me demonstrate. If you just uh, punch this button down, it switches where the input is going by creating some kind of redstone junction. Because this can't power this one through the block, but when this block removes, it can't power the repeater and can repower this. So, boom. That's how I'm switching where my A and B are. And the reason I would want to do that is so that way, you know, if I have an A input, I could completely do a different type of addition for it. And I was I was working on a coder over here, which right now it's only coding this button. <laughs> uh, these are RS NOR latches, which I can reset them, by the way. So let me demonstrate this. So this one turns it on. Boom, it's on right now, but when we switch to this one, it's going to reset everything. Boom. So I can take a pulse and save the pulse in here, which is um, quite useful. However, there is one flaw in the system, which was, is that this actually isn't storing how I would want it to. I, I, don't, I don't know how I want it to work yet, and that's my main problem, is that I don't know how I'm going to want this thing to function, and it can only really store one piece of data because of how I have, I have it wired. So I'm thinking we're going to undo all of this work. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a, a, a very bad time lapse of this because I don't have a uh, replay mod, but still, I could I could, I could, could make a really bad time lapse of me undoing all this work and redoing it, okay? Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I have come up with a system that will allow me to put two saves on one line, which will hopefully make the system a, a little bit more easy. So here are our Snor latches. We have two of them right now, but you can theoretically build this out as long as you want, or maybe to the side as much as you want. The problem is you need two or more spaces between these, so I'm probably going to go for three because I don't really want them to collide together or cause any issues. But that gives me more space to make these things a little more complicated. That way, I can um, make it so they're more functional. And the main function I need for these is to be able to choose which ones are going to be turning on and off. Which uh, seems to be a, a theme that's going on here with everything. Everything needs to... Which ones are on and off? Which... Uh, yeah, it's a theme. Everything needs to... I need to be able to choose everything for this system to work. And this system allows me to save one, but uh, not reset the other, and then like I could do the same thing over here. Switch them, switch them, boom, cool. Yeah, so it's a, it's a functional system for now, 
but it's not able to do some of the features I would like it to do, which is to have the ability to choose which of these are um, going to be firing, what we're saving on each one of these, and uh, yeah. Because if, if, I, if they're all different when I hit the save button, which gave me an idea at one point. I think was I was thinking about I was considering using a toggle flip flap for this, but um, yeah, that that didn't work out as I would have hoped. But the toggle flip flap idea may not be such a bad idea because if I do this, I can choose whether that's saved or not, and then I could build another one out this way. Hold on, and basically I can have two different things saved on them. And I don't have to worry about it, like, so, th so that. And then I could have a reset switch which could, which could, um... I don't know. I don't know how the reset, sh reset switch would work yet. But that would actually be a functional idea. Especially if I combine it with the fact that there would be these underneath of it. So that way it could fire. I don't like relying on pistons a whole lot, which is why I'm probably not going to do that. Anyway, I think we're going to end today's episode here. So, if you all have enjoyed today's episode, please consider liking and subscribing. If you guys got any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. I'll see you all next time, and uh, hopefully I'll have this whole registry system figured out. So, see you then.